I'm still here. Um, I know the last video I said I've been crappy at posting videos. And this one I'm coming out right away and saying I'm crappy at posting videos. Um, it's kind of that lull right now. Our cows are still on grass. And we're just kind of enjoying um, the quietness of fall before everything kind of just gets crazy. Uh, kids are back in school. Hockey, we had some preseason ice, but hockey hasn't quite started yet. So I'm not doing that everyday trip to town or whatever it takes to go to hockey. Uh, trying to figure out what that season's going to look like with all this COVID stuff still going around. Uh, so today I actually am escaping the farm and escaping work. That's the hold up on half of this stuff is I've been working. Bruce has been working. And so farming kind of just, you just do what you can. Anyway. So today I am heading to the city to do a Costco run and hit some farming stores and enjoy a little bit of fall scenery on my way and figured, what the heck, let's take you with me and show you some of the cool, not cool, but great views that I see on my way to the city. Uh, it's a couple hour drive to go to the city, so away this girl goes. Um, so it is fall around here. The leaves have changed color and a lot of them have fallen. Um, we haven't quite had a lot of frosty mornings yet, but it's cool. It's like five Celsius. I'm sorry, my American friends. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. If I remember, I'll kind of put it at the bottom of the video. Um, but by the time afternoon sun comes out, it's warmed up quite a bit. Uh, still no jacket, so, you know, northern girl all the way. Uh, so we have another couple weeks. What is it? It's the last week of September. So we have like two and a half weeks and cows will be home. So I'll be back to feeding and you guys can have daily cow views or something anyway. Uh, so we're just kind of enjoying this little bit of a lull. Um, I will have a video coming up just so that you guys know, putting our handling system back together. Um, because we told that, took that all apart with the last video. Uh, to put all that shale in and pack it all down and that's all got done now. We just haven't had a moment to uh, Stick it all back together. So it has to go back together before cows come home Because otherwise there's a big old hole in my fence and the cows will all get out So we'll get that together in the next couple weeks and be ready for everybody to come home There'll be some roundup videos because we got to go to the big pasture roundup Where we have community pasture and everybody works together to sort cattle and bring ours home um, and then we have some preg check books for our main herd. So we got some stuff coming, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's, we're still here. It's just, farming's kind of a up, up and down kind of, things are always happening. We don't do grain, so we don't have to do any of that stuff. So we're just kind of hanging out, working on our uh, off farm jobs just to have a little extra cash to send money on the farm it's kind of what happens uh so yeah i'm still here we're still farming uh, i've been crazy crafting if you haven't checked out any of those links i've got a couple of different things i've been making and shipping i have a bunch of american sales i thank every one of you i can't believe how much stuff i send down south it's amazing um but between my egg cartons and my turn my your water off no turn off water bracelets um and my custom cattle tags, I've been quite busy actually in the office doing that as well. Uh, if I remember, I'll throw a few pictures below of those things just so you know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen my Instagram photos or haven't checked out any of those links. So, um, yeah, so that's my thing. So today I'm heading to the city, uh, Costco, uh, craft supplies, farm supplies, and uh, I'll share with you some of the... Uh, full views on our way there go through a little bit of I'm gonna go the back way one way into the city and the other way back so you get a little different some different um, views of the farms and fall and I don't know whatever I just thought I'd share something so you don't all think I just up and left or died or who knows what happened <laughs> so anyways today I, today this is all we got we got a quick trip to the city and uh, <coughs> excuse me Away we go, I gotta get around this big truck, so uh, I'll let you go. Not really important. 
impressed with this first part of the road. They did like a top coat on the highway to reseal it or something. Like it's not, they didn't redo it. They just put like that gravel crap on it and there's little rocks everywhere. <sighs> just about at the border though. So I think it only goes to the border. So I didn't lose my window yet. Anyway, that's a view of me heading to wherever I'm going here. sure if these videos are picking up the fall colors there's not a lot of leaves left but there's a few when we get that crazy wind and then the leaves are gone um, but there's still quite a few bales people got bales out the field out here still I'm actually kind of surprised maybe we're just on the ball and I feel like everybody else isn't <laughs> I don't know we have over half of ours hauled off fields we got two properties left I think they're the bigger ones but two properties left so I think we're about half done but yeah and yeah, there's quite a few bales out here different colors and as you drive through it's kind of like driving through hay in season but I don't get to come out here hay in season because I'm out of hay. Uh, you get to see all the grain farmers out in the field and uh, I don't know I just like it. So today I'm a little sad on this drive because so far I haven't seen one field with anybody in it. Um, I've seen quite a few fields that have been plowed under, uh, or tilled under, I mean, uh, because I'm assuming they had planted peas, because everybody in this area that we know of that tried to plant peas with all that rain we had this summer, it just they just rotted, or they grew, but there just wasn't anything there. So, um, everything just got either, you claim crop insurance, or you just took the loss and tilled it under, because it wasn't worth the fuel to combine or do anything with them so um, I've, I've seen quite a few fields that have been plowed under there is a few fields like this one here oh no that one that one's been done oh sorry that one's been harvested so there's a few I've seen quite a few that are um, swathed but the combine hasn't come out yet and then there's a lot like this one coming up here that I've just it's dirt see the dirt <laughs> so hopefully grain farmers have a little better luck next year there's this standing crop here what a bad looking crop so anyways I just thought I'd share my sad drive I guess I don't know I thought I'd see some uh, swathers or combines out in the field or something but it's nice to see some standing grain I guess they just haven't got to it yet it's these crops like this one over here that kind of make me sad knowing that they had plumped something planted there because I did drive out here earlier this spring and uh, knowing that they probably didn't get anything off of it so yeah anyways so still on my journey there <laughs> not cool shopping <laughs> we're off to the Costco and uh, yeah wish me luck so anyways just thought I'd share not impressed city life is not for me driving in a busy town not for me I've had enough and I'm going home <laughs> I got Costco and a few other things, couldn't find a few things. I'm done with masks and people and street lights 
and all of the above. So let's go home and uh, where you, your neighbor is over a kilometer away and see what we find going this way. I had to make a quick stop on the way home just for all of you non-local people that follow. I'm sorry about the wind, but I had to make a quick stop just to show you world's largest beaver. Yep, see? Say hello. <laughs> I don't know, just felt like stopping and showing you a little lawn, a little bit of a, you know, side of the road attraction. All right, continue home. Morning bunny snuggles before school. Yeah, we need bunny snuggles. You got hay stuck to your bunny. By his ear, Where? there you go. Bunny snuggles, bunny snuggles.